This is how you can add jumping and gravity to your Scratch games. This is a must know for a wide array of games, whether you're trying to build a platformer or even something way harder than that. Right here, I have a basic movement script that moves the cat along the X direction. Here's what you need to do to add a jumping and a gravity mechanism. To begin with, we'll need two different variables. The first can be called Y well to keep track of the velocity of the cat in the Y direction. The second is has jumped. I'll add a question mark at the end to indicate that it's a Boolean variable that will only store a true or false value. At the beginning, set both these variables to zero. The sprite isn't moving along the Y axis and plus zero represents false in the sense that the cat has not jumped at this point. We'll use the has jumped variable in such a way that it will be set to one while the cat is in the air and zero while the cat is on the ground. Great. Now at the side, grab a when up arrow key is pressed block. This is when we must give the signal for the cat to jump. But first we must check if the cat is already in the air. The has jump variable comes very handy here. If this is false, then we can make it true and also bump up the Y velocity. That's it for this script, but of course we must get the cat to follow the Y velocity along the vertical axis in the main script. This is quite simple. Just change y by the y velocity. Adding gravity here is very easy. Gravity would just lower the sprite's y velocity while it is in the air. So here, just check if the has jumped variable is one. And if it is, then change the y velocity by negative two. The last part is to just stop all of this when the sprite has hit the ground. We wouldn't want this to continue otherwise. Here, I'll just keep the ground as negative 120. If the Y position is below this, then we set the Y velocity to zero. After all, the sprite should no longer fall down. Also, the sprite may be a little bit off below, so we need to bring it up to the ground once again. This won't be noticeable for the player, but it's very important to have this in. Lastly, we must allow the player to jump once again, so set the has jumped variable back to no. And that's really it. If you test the program, then you should have jumping. It's the building block of a huge number of games, so make sure you use this trick to the fullest.